Welcome to Layla Lynn TV, the channel for celebrity news and entertainment. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified of every new episode. If you're a fan of YouTube star and now certified R&B singer Queen Naja, then you may have heard in July of this year that she was being sued by gospel legend Pastor John P. Key for reusing the melody in his hit song Life in Favor, which is better known as You Don't Know My Story, in her hit song Karma without giving him the proper credit, i.e. cash money, for reusing it. And if you didn't know, yes, Pastor John P. Key is Lil Mo's uncle, which may explain why Lil Mo went in on Queen Naja, calling her Soul Train Awards performance mediocre. John P. Key's song peaked at number two on Billboard's Hot Gospel Song charts and went on to spend 52 weeks on the charts. The discovery of the song's similarities was first made by a YouTube pair that goes by the name T and K Squad, so make sure y'all check them out. That discovery led John P. Key to seek legal action for the use of his melody without his consent. Well, it looks like John P. Key's lawsuit is still on and popping because Pastor John P. Key and Queen Naja both posted about it on social media yesterday, and now Queen Naja's fans are attacking John P. Key in his comments. Queen Naja tweeted, Why is this man trying to sue me for something I didn't do? He need to go somewhere and preach the word of God. And then she followed that up by tweeting, what in the fake church folk is going on? And while some of Queen Naja's fans warned her that she might be making things worse by speaking about it in public, it was too late because Queen's fans were already on Instagram attacking John P. Key under a post that he also made about it. John P. Key posted this post on his Instagram, which sounds like it's in response to someone saying that his song never even existed. He posted a picture of the single cover and captioned it, Just heard this project didn't exist. I'm super proud of my first independent project, released in 2012. Pastor John P. Key CD, Life in Favor, debuts at number one on multiple music sales chart, including both the Billboard's top gospel album chart and Billboard's top Christian gospel chart. Life in Favor also debuts at number one on the Christian Music Trades Association current gospel overall chart and enters at number 32 on Billboard's Top 200. Life in Favor is the first release from Pastor Key's independent label, Key Music Group. Y'all, so Queen's fans saw his post and were all in his comments. One person said, you're doing too much. Always want something to argue about. You're acting like she meant to make it sound like yours. It's really unnecessary. That song old as hell anyway, like move on. I think you just want money. Go and do your little preach thing. Stop being a man, baby. Make sure you pray. You can at me. I don't care. And Pastor John P. Key responded, I still congratulate her. Y'all need to spend some of this fake energy on them producers. We call them grippers in the hood. You don't know my story. Let me get them shoes. Someone else said, wow, just said money is the root of all evil. And Pastor John P. Key responded, nope, ignorance is same label, same publisher. Y'all need to check them producers. Someone else said, God bless you, sir, but you know this is not right. Come on now. She a new artist getting knocked from each side soon as she make a name for herself when all she wants is to make a living for her two kids and family. What is this going to solve? We still know her song and it still will be played on radio. Think about this before you go through with this, please. And Pastor John P. Key responded, do your homework, kids. It's a process. Go figure. We are represented by the same company. Now send me $10 to buy some homeless people in my hood some shoes. And then this person pointed out that Lil Mo is his niece. She said, wow, so Lil Mo is your niece, huh? Oh, child, SMH, I am done. And he responded, what about them shoes? Do your homework, kids. It's a process. Go figure. And this person said, you're money hungry at this point. How are you going to say, oh, congrats on her success on karma and you proud and you're not going to sue. But now on some shady type stuff, practice what you preach. And Pastor John P. Key responded, shut up and get a life. Wow. I tried to tell you little trolls this was bigger than me. I've been a publisher for over 40 years. Y'all didn't listen. I've got lawyers, administrators, managers, writers, producers, and co-publishers that work for me. Key Music Group. 
Cobalt as well as Jatuan Publishing. Y'all accuse me of being a one hit a quit a clout chaser. Nope, Google me. Now get off my page. So after that last comment, I had to stop and I want Pastor John P. Key, if you're watching this video, let me give you a tutorial on how to avoid having to respond to comments like this. Number one, you could just ignore them. You can use your God given gift of self discipline and ignore them. Or if you don't even want to see them at all, this is what you do. You go to your Instagram profile and in the top right hand side, you click on the menu. And then when that opens up at the bottom, you click on the word settings. So what we're going to do is adjust your settings. So only people that you follow can comment on your post. So you go down under privacy and security and you click on comment controls. Pastor John P. Key, this setting is your friend. What you want to click is allow comments from click the arrow and only allow comments from people you follow if you want to avoid comments from trolls that's what you need to do only let the people that you follow comment on your post because otherwise you look crazy as a pastor out here telling people to shut up you look crazy and people are going to judge you more harshly than someone who's not a pastor that's just my advice now my opinion on this situation, I believe this man does have the right to sue. The music business is just that, it's a business. And even if Queen Naja didn't know where the melody came from, the person who gave her that melody knew where it came from. Like he said, somebody knew. And I do agree with him on that point. And if he wants his money, let him get his money. That's my opinion. But leave a comment and let me know what you think about this situation. Do you think Pastor John P. Key is within his rights to sue? Or do you think he should just let it slide? Leave a comment and let me know how you feel. And before I go, I also want to explain why Pastor John P. Key keeps telling people to buy him some shoes or what about them shoes or give me $10 for some shoes. He is doing a shoe challenge for homeless people. And the challenge is to buy a pair of shoes from Walmart, which are either $10 or $15 and give them to a homeless person. That's why he keeps saying, what about them shoes? Hey, it's Pastor John P. King. Listen, you that followed me on tour, remember, I ministered about those tennis shoes, $10 tennis shoes I got from Walmart. It was the night before Essence Festival, and I left my Nikes in Charlotte. I was going to get fishing gear to fish that night and pass by the tennis shoe aisle, and there they were. I picked up a pair of those shoes, and my son Tradell said, don't do it, Daddy. And I said, what you talking about? So when you put a $10 garment on an anointed man or woman of God, the value of the garment goes up. So I need everybody to go to Walmart, get a pair of $10 of athletic works, get out and give it to a homeless man, woman, boy, girl. We're going to go crazy in Charlotte. We ain't planning. I want you to do it too. I'm excited about it. It's athletic works. Some cities, they're $15. Go to Walmart, get that shoe and go and bless somebody on the street. It's cold out there. I promise you, going to get a pair of socks to go with it. Athletic works. Walmart, don't let me down. Uncle John, hook him up. So Pastor John P. Key is not just out here fussing people out and telling them to shut up. He is trying to make a difference in the community. But I also want to challenge him and anybody else to do a challenge that's difficult for you. If you're a wealthy person or even if you're not wealthy, it's not hard to go to Walmart and buy someone a $10 pair of shoes. And giving a homeless person a pair of shoes actually makes you feel good. So it's doing something for you. My challenge is to do something that benefits someone else that doesn't make you feel good dig deeper this holiday season and instead of just giving away material things give someone something like forgiveness and don't clap back at them when they talk crazy to you in your comments how about that attention youtubers you've asked and i'm delivering I'm sharing with you step by step my secrets to making money on YouTube. And my free guide, How to Make Money on YouTube, is the first step to learning exactly what to do to make money on YouTube. So go to my new website, howtomakemoneyonyt.com, to download your copy today. The link is here on the screen, it's in the description box, and it's in the comments, so you can't miss it.